What is up, everybody? Scape211 here, and uh, we are doing our October giveaway. I know I'm late in doing it, but we're going to be doing it right now. Uh, as usual, 10 people are going to win 1,000 A coins each, and uh, we only have two simple rules if you guys don't know them already. One is to subscribe to the channel, and then uh, number two is to comment below. Uh, this time we're going to use the keyword redeemer, but then add your in-game ID and your in-game name. Okay. Uh, and uh, I always stress, make sure you get that ID correct um, so that uh, we can get the eight coins to the right people. And uh, I give you guys the week pretty much to do it. And then uh, we usually just like to have it f by Friday so that we can pick our winners on Saturday. All right. So um, I am doing more play with the Redeemer. Right now he is at four stars and uh, the uh, Missile Rack 8s I have on him are four stars as well. And I have Neymar four stars on him. Um, so I, I've... I mean, I haven't really got to play this build much yet. I actually tried the jabs earlier, but I only got to do it for like one round and then the star ranking went up, so I didn't really get to play with it much. And that went okay. Um, you know, this I think is more interesting where I definitely do more of the hit and run style. I push in, lay down damage, and I pull out. And I think this weapon actually plays really well with this kind of mech. Be Ooh, here we go, just like that where you wanna lay down your damage, you just press the button once, and uh, it even continues to fire after you go into your ability. Now I did have somebody ask me, can you fire while you are using your ability? And the general answer is no, but kind of with a mini caveat, Okay, with the idea that um, if you have a weapon like the Missile Racks where you fire and it shoots all your missiles, it's going to let those missiles fire even during your ability. But if you have a continuous fire weapon like an RPG or carbines or something like that where you want to just keep firing, it will not work with that. So anything that's like, can, like you know, just press it once and fire or a delayed fire weapon is going to work well with this mech, I think, in that sense. Um, you do have to make sure you continue to aim, just like with this weapon. Oh, no, no, no. Oof, just like with this weapon against um, Zephyrs, if they freeze you and you shot right before it, you'll still be able to control your missiles. It's the same way it works here. So like this weapon, um, rocket mortars, javelins, EM. Oh man, that one was a close one. I thought I was dead, but we, we got it before they shot me. Um, the EM um, rifles, anything that actually is a delayed fire or something like that will work well with this. So that's um, that's how I'm doing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Please heal me. I'm almost dead. Please heal me. Oh, that's so good. Thank you, uh, computer player MDs. Um, can be very, very good in that sense. Um, and overall, when this is at four stars, I think it's okay. It does well at laying down damage as well as surviving by, boom, there we go, using the ability when you think, oh, no, except they can put you in bad spots. Oh, my gosh. I've had too many close calls with this mech, too, I feel like. Um, where instead of, you know, dominating with this, I'm, I'm just doing okay. Uh, especially when I go against bots that are supposed to be, you know, my ranking, my ability. If you just do it, you know, obviously, if I were to just break out the big guns, this thing will crush, just like anything else will on the test server against test server bots. Um, but when you try to go even level with them like this, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's a fair bout, I feel like. All right. Okay. Oh man, all right, I already used my ability. That's the other thing too, you gotta remember after you use your ability, there's a longer cooldown of at least 10 seconds, even if you're using the legendary implant maxed, um, which I don't have right now. Ooh, okay. Uh, it will, uh, I think I have it, oh, sweet, but it's just not maxed. When it is maxed, of course, it's going to do well, um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's different for sure. And, and it's definitely a play style you gotta get used to of hitting and running and then timing well where you go and knowing your run path to be able to do that too. And I'll talk about the run path stuff in a minute, um, but I just kind of wanted to discuss that. So um, not bad, but not amazing here. If you look at the MVPs, yeah, everything is four. Actually, some stuff is five star that they have. Uh, so it puts a good dent in them. It's, it's tricky to play against. They got yeah five star stuff there. All mine is only four star, as you can see. So a little bit of a disadvantage, but not bad. 
All right, we're gonna do another one here. I uh, the, the bots actually ramped up to five stars right away. So now I had to move up to five stars with my gear. And the unfortunate thing is based on what's in the test server right now and unlocked, there wasn't really a great build for me to do at 18 energy. So I'm still at 16 energy with this setup and I'm gonna go right to their face, drop some damage and then pull back right away. And as you can see, it lets me continually fire like I was talking about before. Um, on them see I didn't I didn't lay down a ton of damage but I didn't take a scratch so that's also beneficial with this kind of guy where you can if you make the right plays you can be aggressive without taking too much retaliation and that's kind of his benefit I think it's a it's a high skill mech well, maybe I shouldn't have used it there all right well they did have two Zephyrs so actually it was probably a good idea the other one that came out was another Zephyr so I, I probably got myself out of a, a jam there um, I kind of think when in doubt I use the ability but like I said before, if you're not careful about where you're going, uh, we hit him a little bit. Okay, uh, you can you can take some serious damage. So another question I had is, um, can you get hit while you're in your ability? No, you cannot. Actually, um, did some different testing before uh, with some stuff and with Ruffles uh, to see if it was possible. Oh, I thought that guy had more bullets. Probably shouldn't have used it then. Um, and you cannot actually get hit while you're using your ability. There is latency though, so it depends on how well your timing is. Um, if they start laying down damage before you use your ability or when it would be. Oh gosh, this is bad. Oh, those are bad shots, bad shots. Okay, we got him there. Uh oh, oh, I thought he was gonna push it on me. Okay, I ended up over here. That's not bad. All right, good, good, good. Um, so we're good there. Uh, yeah, I, I forgot what I was saying now. <laughs> oh, I did some different testing with stuff. I thought he was going to walk around. Oh, no. Okay. Well, he died. Uh, and so did our teammate. All right. Get this guy. Oh, what's his effort? Okay. He froze us, but we were we were able to get the kill on him, fortunately. Um, but in that kind of case, when I was frozen, if I had used my ability, I didn't want to because I thought I would kill him, and we did. Um, it would probably move me, but we'll, we'll, we'll get out of this guy's way. But we killed him, too. Nice. All right, always good. But uh, our ability is, again, see, he was shooting at me. I used my ability and I didn't take damage. I did it first because I didn't push it right away, but it should um, negate damage that happens to you, uh, which is pretty nice. That's cool about his ability. Um, and I, I don't think there's stuff that can hit you. Um, Ruffles and I tried it with like rocket mortars and a few other things and uh, we didn't take any damage. So uh, pretty sure you will not take any damage um, during this kind of stuff. Oh boy. Okay. Whew. All right. Um, another question. I'm trying to think of what other questions we had, um, is, uh, what can get you out of this, uh, uh, stop you from using his ability. I think somebody said something like that. Uh, obviously once you get to, Oh no. Oh, see that one saved my butt right there. Save my bacon. That would have been death for sure. I thought they only had one guy left. I didn't know they had two. Oh man, I'm in trouble. I'm the only guy left here. Oh crap. I'm not gonna be able to do this. Oh, see, that's probably where I was talking about with the latency. I thought I timed that well and that I wasn't gonna get hit, but he got a shot on me. All right, I'll mop this up real quick. Dang it, I was hoping I could do that. But that's also the point of, I'm, I'm a little bit behind in my power level against the bots um, and it shows. And again, like I said, he's not, like the beefiest mech and can usually take down everything all by himself, but he's not doing bad. I mean, yeah, a little bit less than I did last time, uh, but the bots are pretty beefy here too. So, um, you know, harder to compete, I think with dual 16 energy instead of having like 18 or 20 builds. Um, so uh, we'll try next maxing this guy out and see how that does. All right, got the mech arena map again. Uh, and it only took me a couple matches before everybody was maxed out against me. So we're using the EM rifles this time. I'm using dual EM 10s because the EM 12 is not on the test server. And I'm sure this is plenty enough to get the job done with this guy. Um, this one I'm sure is gonna be, yeah. I mean, I can even do single singleton shots on probably most of these guys. Um, this one is gonna be, oh, got in my way there. All right, there we got him that time. Um, the, uh, uh, the test server bots and stuff, yeah, are too low power. 
I mean, this one's, like I said, it's way too easy with the EM rifles. They're super, super good. Even the 10s are quite good. I know a lot of people have those. Running dual 10s is pretty spot on. Um, so yeah, uh, other stuff I could talk about. Crap, already a monster kill. That's nuts. Um, oh, uh, somebody was asking about what can stop this. Um, you know, uh, I know that the system shock is the one thing that can before you use your ability, but can it stop you during your ability? Uh, it actually has not been able to. When I did testing again with Ruffles, and he may have some better footage of that or do a video on that. Um, when you are using uh, the um, uh, you using the Guardian ability on this thing, um, it should not be able to hit it while it's in its uh, mode. So it's actually quite quite good in that sense. Yeah, I, I'm kind of getting the habit of like taking a shot and using it when I think the enemy is just gonna target me right away like that. Um, it's not as, as dreadful right now against the AI, but it's good practice for when you're against a player because if they round a corner and they also have EM rifles, you should be able to kill them and they won't kill you because they're using this ability. So I can see where there's like application for this to be really interesting um, and good skill if you can land your shots. Um, but it's not as intense as I thought it would be uh, or as amazing um, as probably some other mechs. I don't think it's going to replace other mechs, but I do think that like for certain hangers, it'll be a good addition and a lot of fun, especially speed based hangers. If you like a lot of speed, this guy will be a nice choice to add to like your surge and your kill shot in a hanger. Um, and I kind of said that before, but yeah, so I, I don't think anything can actually stop this ability or stop his ability once he's in it. Um, Guardian can stop him before he uses it. And then, you know, can hit him after. Uh, I will say, well, that's also when you're maxed. Before you're maxed, if you get hit with the ability um, or by other stuff, it will still affect you, but you will still get to use your ability and pull back. So even if you get EMP'd, you should be able to, I think, use your ability and move to a different position. So I think that happened to me a couple times. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very effective. His ability is very effective. So let's actually peek at that for a minute. Um, just because it's already been talked about by a lot uh, that his ability here, um, and I love this new rank system and showing all the detail, by the way. Um, it only starts at five star. You don't get it down here, but um, you, you should be able to still move while you're in all these different abilities. And then as you level up into five, six, and seven, you'll start getting all of these goodies here. So uh, very effective, very helpful, very good, um, I think, you know, defensive ability um, to make smart plays if you are good at your positioning. Part of me feels like, you know, there should be a better upgrade path because everything is stacked over on this side. It'd be nice if they spread it out onto some of this so it feels like there's some incentive for the upgrading process. But I mean, all this is still really good stuff. It just stinks that for maxing, you gotta get all the, the really good stuff like EMP. But his pathing is also really interesting. I didn't talk too much about that, but it doesn't seem to like tiny movements at once longer walks and and longer movements for the pathing to work it doesn't copy you exactly but ruffles and i again did some testing with that i don't know if he'll put a video out on that but if he does you should definitely check that out and please follow the giveaway rules from the beginning but otherwise we'll see you out there on the battlefield